Yo, yo, what's up, good people? This is Hoggy in the place to be, representing live and exclusively right here on Rib Shack TV. And welcome to another spare rib brought to you by yours truly. And tonight, what we're going to do is a little bit of a reading. Now, every time we decide to go out and do a spare rib for you folks, um, honestly, it, it's, it's, a, it's really just a behind the scenes, little, a little glance at what we do when we're doing what we're doing. And, you know, like we said on the previous spare ribs, man, we do this because we got nothing to lose. We do this because it's fun. We like to do it. And uh, there's nothing better really than to showcase our talents, even though they're not that good. But we're getting better. And as we do that, you guys get to see us grow and mold our own style and everything. And we've got our own style when it comes down to music. We got our own style when it comes down to streaming. But it doesn't mean that it can't evolve and change. And you good people during this 2023 Rib Shack cookout are getting the chance to actually view, be a part of. And uh, I don't know, I guess check out what we're doing. I mean, it's always fun to be a part of the art, right? Whether or not it's the result or the actual process and we here at the rib shack man we celebrate the process we we actually dig into it a lot deeper than a lot of other content creators might do but again we got nothing to lose by showing you what we're doing because they're not studio tricks they're just straightforward raw talent and uh i don't know maybe the ability to to hear out perhaps what what the crowd might respond to because in the end, when it comes down to someone reading an audiobook for you, you're surrendering a little bit of your imagination to the narrator. Therefore, if you're going to give me your imagination, I'm going to have to run with it a little bit. And I may do that a little too much. Uh, we'll see how the director likes to hear it. But, yo, let's go ahead and get straight to it. This is a spare rib, and what we're doing is an audiobook recording for a podcast. But... Um, it's a little bit coming from the heart here, actually, uh, a lot of bit. The author is Vicky Locke, and that is my mom. So I know her as Ma. How you doing, Mom? Love you. And uh, I really appreciate this opportunity to be able to do this for you and hopefully with you again sometime soon because I, uh, I know you've written up a lot of stuff. My mom has been writing ever since I was non-existent perhaps i know she's been dabbling with art a lot uh painted of quite a few pictures and she is an actress so you know i guess the apple don't fall too far but my thing is music and my daughter's thing is uh drawing and art so hey man i'm just glad that everybody could be a part of the art it's just kind of a family thing even my wife draws and does a whole bunch of different kind of artistic stuff that i can't do so we're here showing off what we can do <laughs> and um we're trying to make mom proud so check it out rib shack people we're going to do what we got to do on this spare rib and we already started a little bit um this was the other night's the other night's action so hey usually i start you guys off right and fresh and um i guess i i, I just couldn't pull that off this time i had i had to really get into this and do something a little bit different because it is a lot a bit different if you're going to be honest. Well, if I'm going to be honest with you, you good people who are who are viewing, because uh, like I said, I, I'm a musician, so I do music and I started doing streaming late 2016 just to give it a chance and see how it how it went, because I was involved with the radio show previously. So, you know, a lot of the time when I'm talking, I'm trying to fill dead air. I, I got a little bit of that habit still instilled in me, uh, along with the fact of showing you folks what we got going on. But I've never recorded an audio book before, especially one that's got lines in it. So tell me what you think. Or maybe my mom will. Either way it goes, man. Check this out. This is hot. I'm going to be quiet for a second and let you listen to uh, how far it's gone thus far. Okay, that, I did not mean to do that. Wrong button. Jim sucked in his belly and squeezed his oversized ass into his regular booth. Someone had adjusted his seat since he was here a few weeks ago. They must have been skinny as hell, leaving virtually no room for his abundant ass. He pushed the table away a bit to make room for himself and really spread out and relax. The fluorescent lights at Honey's truck stop flickered and cast a glare on the plastic flower arrangement on the table. 
He stopped here on every trip north, but this trip was special. This was his first trip with his new baby. The usual, Jimmy? A high-pitched voice from the end of the table whined. You know me, Katie. I'm a man of habit. Jim smiled up at the middle-aged waitress who carried her troubles and those of others in her deeply lined face. The Florida sun had burned its stamp on what was once, no doubt, a pretty little head-turner. Okay. Yep. So that's what I got so far. That's what I put together last night. Took me a while, but it's all good. So now that you're here to join me, what we're going to be doing is working on the next portion of this, which starts with Katie speaking back to Jim. As we work ourselves back in the character and develop the proper energy for this recording, if you would please bear with me as I go into work mode. Anyway, if I don't say too much after this, thanks for watching and enjoying the, the spare rib. Behind the scenes, y'all. This is how we do what we do when we do what we're doing. In order to entertain you and your crew and everybody else. <laughs> My bad, man. I'm <laughs> aye, aye, dang. Let's do this. I get the sillies out. Where do we leave off? All right, Katie. <clears throat> Line two. Attempt one. Coming right up. I'll bring you some coffee, too. All right. Quick. Short. Simple. And straightforward. noise removal and let's ensure this matches the flow not so much the tone I mean of course she changes her tone at this point because she's saying something a little different so how does she sound coming right up I'll bring you some coffee too okay fine I'll take that Again, I don't necessarily need to emulate Katie, but I've got to be sure that her image is somewhat burned in your mind. And let's see if I got the flow correct, along with the volumes. Off we go. What was once, no doubt, a pretty little head turner. Coming right up. I'll bring you some coffee, too. Not bad. I, I, I think it's a little early. Just a little bit. So. Uh, let's bring it in. Okay. I said it was a little early. Okay, let's back it up a bit. See if that hole is too big. Had burned its stamp on what was once, no doubt, a pretty little head turner. Coming right up. I'll bring you some coffee too. Yeah, it 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 gives the listener a second to soak in what the narrator is describing about her. Okay. Volume's good too, so I think we can come right into this one as well all right line mm. actually it comes right behind what she says okay let's try to sec y'all
All right. And off we go. Back to narration. Ooh. Bring up my script. And this is after the coffee, too. Road trip. Narration. Take one. Katie let her words trail off as she walked away. She didn't hurry. She didn't need to. This was just Jim. Okay. Let's get the silence out of the track. Then we can mold. We can shape it. Cut off the back. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't select the back. Most definitely got to cut it off. It did not get affected. Okay, and that's that's the warm up right there. So we started back here. Okay. How did I learn how to do all this? Well, I'm going to take a second to talk to y'all. When you got a group of maybe six, seven MCs that actually really, really, really have some talent, yet none of these good fellas actually know how to work any of these programs any of that stuff. Honestly, what I'm saying is I learned how to do this through necessity. I had a group of guys that said, hey, the man, let's make songs. We get beats, put them on there, and do what we did. We actually made some songs. They were okay. I mean, if you consider the equipment that we had to work with, they were great. But the point is, is that you learn from necessity. It was necessary for somebody to figure all of this out and i learned a lot of it from a lot of different people that i talked to over the years you know i i guess one would say i started doing this back in oh two what i'm doing right now audio production and i'm not the best at it i mean i'm just still amateur after all this time like like 21 years man and i'm still just learning figuring out how what does what but uh I will say that it doesn't take me as long to churn out what the people who request what they request from me. It doesn't take that long for them to get it. And that's honestly because I got a lot of practice doing this. As you saw in the previous spare ribs. I want this to kind of catch a little bit earlier because it's really descriptive of what she just said. Let's see if we can pull that off. Or we did. If we got to adjust it, we got to adjust it. So let's check it out. Did stamp on what was once, no doubt, a pretty little head turner. Coming right up. I'll bring you some coffee too. Katie let her words trail off as she walked away. Wicked, wicked quick. Wicked way too quick. Let's do this again. Pretty little head turner. Coming right up. I'll bring you some coffee, too. Katie let her words trail off as she walked away. She didn't hurry. She didn't need to. This was just Jim. not bad it's, yeah there we go that's what I was after it's quiet it's a little too quiet bring up the whole track compared to we'll bring up this whole section compared to the track and let's try it again because it, it seemed too quiet oh, we're way back there all right face the florida sun had burned its stamp on what was once no doubt a pretty little head turner coming right up i'll bring you some coffee too 
Katie let her words trail off as she walked away. She didn't hurry. She didn't need to. This was just Jim. Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Maybe we'll need to adjust that later as we go, but let's keep it moving. This was just Jim. Okay. Hmm. And speaking of Jim, let's hear all about what Jim is all about. And obviously, I read this before doing this, so boy, does this have some significance. Anyway, okay, let's mute this particular track. And we'll start wherever. It doesn't matter where we start. This is going to be long winded. But I should be able to deal with it. I might screw up a little bit. Uh, if I do, we'll try it again. All right, here we go. Solid. Give me a script. This might help me. Let's do this. That might help me. All right. Narration. Read one. Section eight. The bulky truck driver stared out the window at the most beautiful sight at the world. Ew. Oh. Wait a sec. Was I recording? Oh, that works. I wasn't even recording. Cool. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's try it again. Narration, section eight, read one. The bulky truck driver stared out the window at the most beautiful sight in the world. His baby, a Kenworth W900, 86 inch studio sleeper, soundproof interior, heated mirrors, Cummins X15 engine with 586 horsepower and 1850 foot pounds of torque, rear axles that can hold up to 40,000 pounds. All this sits on a 280 inch wheelbase with a toolbox on the side. This vehicle sat in the parking lot under a light that up that ah man. Wow, I came so close to sticking it. That's a fun one to read, too. All right, let's go again. <clears throat> the bulky truck driver stared out the window at the most beautiful sight in the world. His baby. A Kenworth W900. 86-inch studio sleeper, soundproof interior, heated mirrors, Cummins X-15 engine with 586 horsepower and 815 foot-pounds of torque, rear axles that can hold up to 40,000 pounds. All this sits on a 280-inch wheelbase with a toolbox on the side. This vehicle sat in the parking lot under a light that made it almost glow. Ah, midnight blue. And a smooth ride, too. Jim leaned closer to the window and smiled proudly, revealing his dark, stained teeth. <laughs> Whoa. Man, that was a mouthful. Okay. I mean, I know she wrote it as a... Man, that was a thick paragraph. I... I don't know, maybe taking the easy way out would have been cutting it in half, but you'd break the flow, man. And, and as a as a lyricist, I kind of understand that you'd like even if you have to take a breath, keep it moving, keep it flowing, because like I'm ratting off stats like it ain't nothing, you know, and it's 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 to capture a specific feeling of of uh, of the situation. And I think she did a great job, the author and uh I'll be honest, I'm just trying to keep up. I don't know what that little sound is. All right, let's have a listen, man. I hope I really stuck it. It sounded like I did. Uh, do, 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 do. 
Too close, maybe? Ah, oh, we'll find out. We're not necessarily worried about the cadence. We we really just want to be sure that that's all it's it's malleable, it's like it's digestible, it's 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 something that we can we can break off. Or it, it brings you full circle to what Jim is really all about. That's the intention. All right, I'm going to be quiet. Check out. She didn't hurry. She didn't need to. This was just Jim. The bulky truck driver stared out the window at the most beautiful sight in the world. His baby. A Kenworth W900. 86 inch studio sleeper, soundproof interior, heated mirrors, Cummins X15 engine with 586 horsepower and 815 foot pounds of torque, rear axles that can hold up to 40,000 pounds. All this sits on a 280 inch wheelbase with a toolbox on the side. This vehicle sat in the parking lot under a light that made it almost glow. Ah, midnight blue. And a smooth ride, too. Jim leaned closer to the window and smiled proudly, revealing his dark, stained teeth. Well, it ain't no secret I don't like Jim. But you are going to find out why. Turn that up a little bit because it was a little quiet. And uh, we'll break off this last line after this. But to be completely honest with you, that's going to kind of do it. Uh, I'm glad you all stuck around and uh, checked out this reading for this first page for the spare rib. And it's a super special one, man. I mean, a really, really special one. Thanks, Mom, for the opportunity once again. And I hope you guys check it out. This is Road Trip, copyright 2021, written by Vicky Locke. And I'll leave you a link on the bottom of this so that you could check it out and uh, have a listen to the final product after it's all said and done. But, yo, this is it. We're all said and done for the spare rib for this time, man. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching. And, yo, thanks for being part of the art. I hope you guys are enjoying the 2023 Rib Shack Cookout. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Adios and have fun.